Hi, I'm Philip Brown. I'm the Bearded Math Man. What I'd like to do in this video is show you how to calculate percentage of profit or percentage of growth. So let's get started. First of all, I did a Google search for profit and it said profit's a financial benefit that's realized when the amount of revenue gained from a business activity exceeds the expenses, costs, taxes needed to sustain the activity. Any profit that is gained goes to the business's owner who may or may not decide to spend it on the business. Uh, yeah. What? Basically, all that profit is, is how much money you get in excess to what you spent. So you buy, I don't know, sneakers for $10, you sell them for $15, you profit, five bucks. So profit is income minus investment. Income is how much you brought in. So how much you sold it for, or how much you were compensated for your services and investment is the money you spent to either get the item you're selling or to provide the service you were compensated for. Growth is similar. Growth is the new amount minus the original amount. So if you're like, uh, I don't know, eating too much pizza and getting pimples, your growth of pimples would be your new amount minus your old amount. And yes, profit is growth when we're talking about money. It's really the same thing. Now to figure out percentage of growth or percentage of profit, you have to figure out the growth and you divide that by your original. So you're comparing how much you ended up with with how much you started with, and you're just expressing that as a percentage. So for example, percentage of profit, it's your profit, which is the numerator right here, income minus investment, that's the profit. And you compare that as a percentage to your investment. So the trick is you have to identify what's what, each part you have to identify. So we're gonna try a couple problems and we're really gonna focus on that. So let's do an example. There's a rabies outbreak. You had 10 cases before, and now you have 56 cases. 10 cases is just incredible, but we're being asked to find the percentage of growth. I don't know why, I think the smart thing to do would be just move. But here's how you figure out the percentage of growth. It's the new amount minus the old amount divided by the old amount, right? So 56 is the new amount, and the old amount is 10. So all we gotta do is plug those things in. 56 minus 10 is 46. 46 divided by 56, written as a percentage, is 82. I rounded. Just be careful with your rounding. Um, if it's four or less, you just drop it. If it's five or more, you'd round it up. So this was 82.1, I think. I don't remember exactly. But that's it. That's all you got to do. So our buddy Eli, always trying to turn a quick buck. He sees a good opportunity here. He buys a thousand vials of rabies vaccination for 500 bucks. He sells each of them for a buck 25. We have to figure out how much he made. Now, the phrase how much he made that's actually talking about profit not just about his income so to figure out the profit again we have to figure out the difference between what he spent on his product and how much he brought in from it so if he's had a thousand vials and he sold them for dollar 25 each that's 1250 bucks he brought in he spent 500 bucks on it right so that's a difference of 750 that's a 750 dollar profit that's pretty tidy not too bad at all Okay, you guessed it. Of course, we're going to be asked next, what is his percentage of profit? Now, a lot of times, uh, a problem will just ask you this without doing the thing we just did, and you have to figure out the profit before you can figure out the percent profit. So, all we got to do, though, once we have the profit, which we know is, what, 750, all we have to do is divide by the original. So, 750 divided by 500, that's 150%. He made 150% profit. That is a pretty tidy cleanup right there. So anyway, this has been a public service announcement by me, Bearded Math Man. Rabies, super lethal. You get bitten by something and it's rabid, and you wait, you're gonna die soon. Don't mess around with it. Anyway, my name's Philip Brown. I'm the Bearded Math Man. I hope you visit my website, beardedmathman.com. There's all kinds of great math help there for you. And if you ever have a math question, you can see me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash bearded math man. I'll put a link in the description below. As always, thank you for watching.